uh, hi everyone and welcome back in this video let's see uh, one more example uh, which is just about reading a file and how to use the predefined or core modules from node.js okay so in the coming videos we will talk about node.js architecture which is built on top of chrome vt runtime environment so how it is different from the browserless environment we have already seen but what is actually the node.js architecture we have okay and what are the core modules how to get the additional or third party module using npm package manager you just need to have a package.json and you install the new package through just writing simple command npm install package name okay something like this okay so currently what we are doing is we already have these fs.net or http these are all our core modules which are coming with the node.js but what if i wanted to use some other module like express express is not part of node.js it's a node.js framework and available as a library same with restify kua happy all these are actually a framework built on top of node.js so you just need to install these as a third party library using npm so npm is a node package manager if you wanted to get additional package uh, apart from what node.js is giving you those are called as external package and you can install it using npm install command so like if i do test and then you need to have npm npm is coming with the node.js so you have to create a simple package.json it will have the information about your packages which you are installing so now if i want to install express i can just do npm install minus minus save express express is a module which i'm going to install similarly you can install any kind of module and once it is done it will create a node module you can see and in the node module you can see all the libraries which has been imported to support this package which we have as express so there are some core modules like fs http.net dns socket all these modules are inbuilt and you don't need any external library but when you wanted to do out of the box thing like uh, you wanted to use uh, server side rendering you wanted to use ezs and all these kind of templating engines then you might be using some node.js framework like uh, express rp kova js all these things okay so this is how you can just get external modules and you can install other modules also and can install just add your other module name space any module name so we'll talk about npm a little bit how npm works okay here we are talking about fs module which is core to the node.js and if i try to hit it okay, it's not here right i'm getting this error because what i'm doing is i'm using fs module and trying to read this file synchronously but this file doesn't exist there right so you will you will get this error and this program will terminate we have already put a try catch because we are reading a file and there may be a possibility that we don't have this file so let's create some text file So now I have this app.txt file, text file and I'm able to read it, right? But you might be wondering like what this read file, sync method, read file, async method is also there. So all the methods you can see, I can see read file, sync, read file, async. So all these methods are available from the FS module. So it is reading the file and it is making the data available to us and we are able to read it so this is not a callback based so we'll talk about some more javascript terms if you are already aware about async await promises callback then it will be very easy otherwise i will also try to explain what is this so this is synchronously reading a file so it is not having a callback otherwise if you just do simple read file then you can see the argument for the read file is uh, you will see a callback 
So once the file read is done, a callback will be returned and that will have the data from that particular file. So there will be another argument. Function will be a callback and it will provide us the data. In this callback, you can have error and data. And once data is there, you will be able to show it or if no error is not there. If error is there, if error is not there, it means you have the data so you can access it. Right, so there are different ways of uh, writing a same functionality. The file read is supporting synchronous view or asynchronous view, both the things. This read file is asynchronous function and this callback will be triggered once we have the data available from that file process. Okay. Another thing is you can also use simple HTTP server, which is just starting our HTTP server on particular port. Like if I try to do this, then it is a start, it has started Node.js process on 8080. So if I just try to do curl request on this, right, I got the hello world, right? Because this is what server is responding. It is created the, it has created HTTP server and, and it is just running. It is waiting for the listeners to connect the HTTP client. So this is the request I'm sending, right? So it has connected and it is sending the response hello world back. Okay, and we already talked about how these modules works. Like you have to, if you wanted to use predefined module, you have to do require. Even if you created some user defined module like date, here I can just do module dot exports. Okay, and I can import it here in my test.js. This is how we are exporting and importing modules. And if you just wanted to concat something, then you can just add it in the backticks. So you can have a dynamic expression within it. Just call it. Okay. So here this is the function and we just need to call it because we are exporting a function. So you can just restart this process and then again you can do the curl. Okay, wait a second. Did we get any error? Data. Okay. Okay, it's indeed not data, sorry. So server has started. We got the date right so this is how it is working okay this is just about a basic pro command line programs how to create a server how to read a file how to pass a command line argument how this module system works how we are uh, exporting and importing we are exporting using module.exports from one file and in another file we are do doing a require this is how the common js module patterns works you export in another file you import that using require